Well, welcome to Dad Guide. I'm Cooper, and today we are talking about baby monitors. Now, baby monitors have a wide variety of styles and price points. You have your smart monitors that are definitely more expensive, and then you have your traditional style that are more of a budget-friendly option. And today we're going to focus on the budget-friendly option. Because personally, I found them to be almost better than the smart monitors. You have a lot more features, and we'll get into that now. So if one of the things I really like about the VTech, the VM320 or 3252, is the reliability. You have a range on these of about a thousand feet. You don't need Wi-Fi, so when you're traveling, you can take this with you. It's not an issue. You don't have to worry about that. For that, definitely like just the traditional style. And then for the VTech, I also like the fact that the two-way talk is quite good. It works very well. The speakers on both ends work. To be honest, the VTech actually works better than some of the smart monitors I have that cost four times the price. So for that, I still really like the VTech, the VM320. Another thing I really like about this baby monitor are just some of the simple things. The size of it, it's not too big, so you don't have to carry around a bulky camera. And this base is very simple. It has some nice things, like there are the white noise features, so you can turn on white noise. Uh, whether you're gonna use it or not, it's kinda up to you, but it is there if you want it. You also have the temperature sensor in these. It works fairly accurately. It's not the most accurate, but it definitely still gets the job done if the temperature was way off. You're gonna notice it right away. The screen on the one hand is definitely on the smaller side. Depending on which model you're looking at, you can have the 2.5 inch screen or the 2.8 inch screen. So definitely small, but the camera is still decent. You have the picture, the color camera in the day, and then at nighttime, it'll switch into night vision and both pick up your baby quite well. They're definitely detailed enough for you to see them. They don't have the widest uh, field of vision as some of the more uh, expensive cameras, but it's still good enough that you can set it in the right spot to get you the full crib. So for that, I still really like the features and functionality of some of the more budget-friendly options like the VTech. The second thing I wanna talk about is the reliability. These are built very tank-like. They're very hard to break. You can use them for a very long time. You can throw them in your suitcase. You're not gonna have that same worry about some of the more expensive monitors with the bigger screens that could crack or break. That's definitely something to keep in mind and why I end up using the budget VTech more than I end up using my Cubo AI, just because of that durability and you don't have to worry about connectivity issues when you're on the go. So that is definitely another thing I really like about it. Now I wanna talk about some of the drawbacks of the VTech because there are some. For one, they always need to be corded. So you're always carrying away around with you a power bar. And that isn't always your favorite thing. I would like it maybe to have a USB uh, function so you could always plug it in when if you're on the go to a power bank or something like that The next thing I want to talk about is the battery life the battery life on these definitely could be better uh, The base is gonna be plugged in and then you're gonna charge the camera while you're going around your monitor And you only get about an hour to an hour and a half uh, Depending on which one you get sometimes they're a little bit better, but you're not getting a ton of battery life So for the portability for that That's a bit of a drawback and the charging time kind of varies, to be honest, on which one you have. Uh, we have one that charges quite quickly, and then I've had another one that took forever to charge. So it's kind of weird how that works. I'm not quite sure I understand. So those are some of the drawbacks. Definitely the camera size, uh, the view is a little smaller than some of the other options, and the uh, battery life isn't the best. However, overall, for the price point you're paying, this is definitely a good design. Uh, it's very easy to take with you, and it does the job. The biggest thing for baby monitors for me is I just want something that I can trust. It doesn't glitch out on me, and that is this model. I've had many different models with bigger screens where they just randomly stop working. You've, I've had my smart monitors where they just stop connecting to Wi-Fi, and then you're like, oh, crud. So I end up having the smart monitors and then I end up putting this one on them anyway so for the most part I'd rather just use the VM320. So thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate the support. Please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.